Welcome into Drew Silly Diamond for Tuesday, October 22nd, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. We got two college football conference USA nationally televised games coming to you coming on Tuesday night. And we got a World Series preview, New York Yankees, LA Dodgers on the way as well. Guys, recap, we are carrying the 35 and 18, 66% win rate into today's show plus 14.92 units if we are releasing a big favorite we are counting that in the vig not throwing out percentages uh with huge favorites without uh hey the profit or uh or lack thereof so plus 14.92 units means if you're a hundred dollar better you're up 1492 on this run so let's keep it going here we are heading to west miami for our first game up, 7.30 Eastern on ESPNU. It's Conference USA action with Sam Houston State and FIU. 46 in the hook being the total in Pitbull Stadium, Miami, Florida. Minus five in the hook. That is the Bearcats of Sam Houston State as the road favorite. They do come in five and two on the season, both straight up and against the spread. FIU, the Golden Panthers, just two and five on the year. They are, however, four and three. ATS. Both teams, the story here, quarterback questions coming into tonight's game. Last week, both start starting quarterbacks uh, went out with injuries. Hunter Watson for Sam Houston State, in my opinion, is the more impactful injury. As we saw last week, uh, we actually broke down the game. We were against Sam Houston State, got the win. But part of the reason why is because he got injured. So as you're waiting on Tuesday, if you're waiting around for this game, if we get information that he's playing, I'm going to be betting Sam Houston State. He's their leading passer, their leading rusher. He's a really good player back there, and I think he would give FIU defense some major problems. On the FIU side of things, their quarterback Jenkins also went out with his throwing shoulder, his left shoulder. He is a, a lefty. He was trying to make a tackle. Um, he went out. The backup Jones came in. He actually left the game as well. So that's something to note as well for the FIU side. But their head coach, Matt, Mike McIntyre, did did say he should play. He's quote unquote optimistic about James's uh, availability for Tuesday night. Jenkins is a, a good player overall. I don't think he's as good as Watson at the quarterback position. I really don't. However, you know, he, he, he's a good player back there. He, he moves around. You know, he's a guy that went like 40 and 0 in high school, won three state championships at Miami Central, got SEC scholarship offers, but chose to stay there at FIU and play the quarterback position. It, it, overall, he is impactful. I just think Watson is the better quarterback overall. Guys, overall for this one, this isn't going to be a best bet by any means. But I do think Sam Houston State, just from watching both of these two teams, kind of the quote-unquote eye test, has better players up and down. They're more explosive on offense. The, you know, the line of scrimmage, they're a little bit better than FIU. FIU overall is a very volatile team, not only because of the injuries, but because sometimes they come out and play and they look like a pretty good team. Other times, not so much. I mean, we just saw them last week go on the road and face UTEP that was winless and lose the game outright as the favorite. But at times, you know, they beat Central Michigan. They beat Louisiana Tech. Um, they are at home in both teams off of a short week playing last Wednesday. So only six days rest here, and Sam Houston State has to travel. I still don't think it's enough. I really don't, guys. I think Sam Houston State is the, the better team, particularly if Watson plays. So overall, we're going minus five in the hook. That's the Bearcats of Sam Houston State as the road favorite. Moving down the list here, 30 minutes later on CBS Sports Network, another nationally televised Conference USA action, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. It's UTEP in Louisiana Tech. We are seeing the Bulldogs of Louisiana Tech minus seven point home favorites, 50 being the total in Ruston, Louisiana. UTEP, we just mentioned it. They got their first win of the season at home last week over FIU. However, we need to also throw out there, FIU had four interceptions. So UTEP was the beneficiary of some turnovers there. Their head coach, first-year head coach, Scotty Walden, I, I think he actually, you know, he, he made a lot of changes in the offseason. And UTEP, as the season goes on, might be a better bet. Maybe it starts started last week. I don't, however, think so, guys. I think they're still, a, you know, a year away from uh, kind of being bet on week in, week out. And they're up against Louisiana Tech here, who's two and four on the year, three and three against the spread. 
they, man, the Bulldogs are also a little bit of a volatile team. Um, first off, last year they played UTEP. They went 24 to 10. So they won by two touchdowns on the road in El Paso. Now they're at home. This isn't an easy trip. You know, El Paso, El Paso to Ruston, Louisiana. But their head coach, we talked about it on last week's show. He relinquished the play calling duties. And since then, they've scored 30 plus in the two weeks since that change happened. So they have gotten a little bit of a spark here offensively. I actually think that's a bet on. I really do. And this is a team that's played much better at home. They're at home here in Ruston. They're two and one at home. They're only lost coming in overtime to Tulsa. I, I, I actually think UTEP is the much better team from watching most of these two teams games all season long. Um, we, we are seeing the market at some shops go to seven and a half. So a little tick up here on Louisiana Tech. Some of it, my money, guys. I think the Bulldogs win this. If you're a real gambler out there, you know, even those alt lines, uh, Louisiana Tech minus 10, minus 13 and a half, something like that. I think they actually win in blowout fashion. Let's jump on the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs minus seven as the home favorite. We got the World Series preview coming up next. New York Yankees, L.A. Dodgers. Starts on Friday, guys. But first, I want to remind you, if you could smash that like button, comment below. It helps out the algorithm. I really appreciate everybody that's doing so. Tried out the college football opening lines on Monday. Got some uh, good comments down there, so I'll try it again next week. And uh, we'll be hitting these college football games. We'll be hitting the World Series as well, guys. And we got college basketball coming up in the future. So a lot coming your way right here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. Drew's Daily Diamond going daily. Monday, well, Monday through Sunday, every single day as we got the uh, NFL and Saturday's show for college football going on the weekend. Also, $5 plays, wagertalk.com. If you're interested in premium packages, got one up, 4% are going here on Tuesday night. You get it for just $5, so a great day to check out the website. Drew Martin, experts page, wagertalk.com. All right, World Series, guys. Seven-game series here between the Yankees and the Dodgers. Just what the doctor ordered for uh, Major League Baseball in terms of big brands. You know, a lot of eyeballs on this. It's going to be a fun series. I'm excited for it. And I have no fandom for either team. Just as a sports better, I'll be looking to jump in. Looks like it starts Friday. Not it looks like. It's game one Friday in Southern California in Los Angeles. They'll go one and two Friday and Saturday in L.A. It's a 2-3-2 format. So then three games. In New York, they will take Sunday off. So it will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in Yankee Stadium. Then they'll take next Thursday off and come back if necessary for six and seven in Los Angeles. So Los Angeles does have the home field advantage. Although they're having to lay minus 135 here in the series price. I'm breaking down the series bet here, guys. It's the Dodgers minus 135, the Yankees plus 115. However, early in the week, there is a little dichotomy here with where you're shopping. Minus 125 at some shops for the Dodgers, just plus 105 for the Yankees on the other side. I think the story here is the Yankees have the advantage starting pitching. The Dodgers have the advantage in terms of the relief arms. I mean, the Dodgers, what is it, 32 postseason innings, just three earned runs. They've been riding some hot hands back there. And then the lineup wise, I mean, it's Otani, it's Mookie Betts, Max Muncy, Will Smith, Tommy Edmond. They're. They've been hitting the ball. They, they've definitely slugged their way here. They deserve it. And particularly because all the pitching injuries this year with their starting pitchers. I mean, imagine if they didn't have these injuries. Tyler Glasnow out, Clayton Kershaw, Dustin May. But it does lead me into kind of the Yankees uh, having the rest before the World Series, you know, winning comfortably there. It sets them up for the rotation. Garrett Cole in game one, followed by Carlos Rodon, who added that change up. Uh, Clark Schmidt, Luis Gill, possible uh, arms to go as well. And Garrett Cole, his velocity did tick up. It was trending down. So I actually think he's kind of bet on here for them to jump out. Game one, Stanton, four home runs. He's kind of seeing the ball well, just in the four home runs in the series alone against Cleveland, guys. So, hey, overall series price, I would look towards the Yankees. A little toss-up series here, plus 115. Put the 15 cents in our pocket. Bronx Bombers on the series price so we got the world series preview college football as well looking towards the bronx bombers plus 115 sam houston state minus five and a half and louisiana tech minus seven for the best bet for the show i'm drew martin checking out guys comment below smash that like button enjoy the rest of your tuesday we'll be back for wednesday's show come back and join us until then cash those tickets thanks for tuning in